All right, this is a follow-up lesson. Um, after you've done all the exercises and watched the videos, you might ask yourself, why do I need to know the number of turning points and the x-intercepts and the end behavior? How come I have to know all three of those? Isn't knowing one of them enough? So let me give you a little preview of what's coming. What if we have something like this, which we're going to have in another couple sections. So you've got some kind of graph like this that maybe goes up and does one of these numbers, like something like that. Okay, so that's coming up in the next section. And then you would count the number of turning points. Let's do that in a minute. So here's one here, 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 here. All right, so that was four turning points, okay? And then the x-intercepts, well, there's only one of them, one x intercept. So you might have uh, hopefully learned the rule right now um, that says the x-intercepts equal the degree. So there's one x-intercept, but this sure can't be a degree one. This is not a line. Um, so the end behavior also tells you, because one of them is pointing up, one of them is pointing down, then the end, end behavior tells you it has to be an odd degree, right? Well, it can't be degree 1, and it can't be degree 3 because I've got four turning points. So then, therefore, it's got to be a degree 5. And we'll get into this in the later sections. But this is just an example of what's coming um, and why you have to look at turning points and x-intercepts and the end behavior in order to determine what kind of a degree it is. And then let me give you a little hint what I do um, when I solve these kinds of problems. All right, hint. This is what I do. The first thing I do is I look at the end behavior. And in this case, it's negative and positive. So that tells me it's an odd degree. And remember, an odd or even degree, well, that's not the same thing as an odd even function. Those are two different things. Okay, so those are two different things. This is an odd degree. So it's either degree 1, degree 3, degree 5, so on and so forth. So that's the first thing I do. I always look at the end behavior and determine the odd or even degree. And then the next thing I do is I look at the turning points or the x-intercepts. Because, like in this case, you see four distinct turning points, but you only see one x-intercept. So in this case, the turning points really help you make a decision as to what degree it is. So that's just kind of giving you a little taste of what's coming, and that tells you why you have to learn about turning points and x-intercepts and behavior all at the same time.